Well, it is a dangerous sport and the dangers of harness racing were highlighted once again on Friday night. Veteran driver James Stormont almost killed Alexandra Park, but for the heroic actions of fellow driver Todd Mitchell. Take a look at this. Out by two lengths. Oh, one went down. And that was American Angel, and it's carved up half the field here as they swing in. So uh, horses and drivers everywhere. What you don't see off camera is an unconscious Stormont trapped in the sulky and being dragged at high speed towards a concrete drain. But somehow, Mitchell managed to stop the horse and avoid disaster. Yeah, Todd was the driver you saw being thrown from his sulky and then running what you'll find out when we have a wee look at the footage in the direction of James. Both drivers here now. Uh, James, you were in hospital till 3 o'clock yesterday. You have had, I mean, thank you for making the effort to come in. Uh, you have had some fairly uh, uh, stressful injuries, but you're walking. Yeah, yeah, very lucky. Um, again, like you say, thanks to Todd. Um, I can't remember a lot, um, but um, being when I was knocked out and being dragged around, like your body went limp, so um, that might have saved me a lot too. And but, you, but you don't remember the incident at all? No. So what was it like for you then watching? Because I think this is the first time you saw the incident in full. What was it like watching it? Yeah, it's a little bit scary, especially um, on the bigger screen where you can see more. I can see where I hit my head and got knocked out type thing. Um, you don't actually see, I haven't been able to see the, when we got dragged inside the track from the gravel to the grass and where Todd got me before I hit the, um, the concrete. Well, we can have a wee look at that. Todd, um, I mean, you, you'll, you'll remember this only too well, I assume. Yeah, sort of adrenaline's pumping through you as it actually happens, but um, I could actually see James's horse into trouble, hanging probably the way the horse went, looked like it had choked down got a head round and started hanging and I could see it in slow motion. I'm trying to pull my horse to the inside of James. Let's just have a look here. So, so um, here we go. Todd, that's you being thrown forward, isn't it? Out of your... Oh, no, no. That's, which one are you, that's Todd? James. That's James. So, Todd's hitting the ground now. Yep. So, James, you're out of picture now to the left. And, yes. James, you are dealing with the fact you've been thrown from your sulky. You immediately turn round here to check on your fellow rider. T tell us what happened yeah, there. I, I lost my horse. Usually you can sort of hang on to the reins, but I lost my horse. I turned round and I saw uh, James obviously unconscious, but I thought he was a little bit worse because just the way his body was folded up. Um, so, obviously, you know, just sort of thought I'd better chase the horse, but I didn't think I would actually catch it but it actually it ran towards the concrete chain it turned left veered left and then ran back towards me when it was able to get back onto the grass so it sort of ran into me as well because i was getting a bit tired on the old run not as fit as i used to be <laughs> Tom, so, what were you expecting to, to find when you when you got there i mean you would have been very concerned for i was situation. worried because i've never seen a body like that in james's arms and legs so he's like a rag doll so and the way his body was folded over on the car i didn't actually think he was alive did you actually effectively grab the horse? I mean, what we didn't see there is because obviously the camera goes back to the finish of the race. You had to grab the horse to stop it? Yeah, I finally ran up and um, I actually grabbed hold of the rein just by its head, but it was a bit hard because the cart was flipped over and the shaft was sticking out probably about half a metre in the way, so I was trying to avoid the shaft, the end of the shaft and uh, grab hold of the rein as well and pulled her up. And as soon as we pulled the horse up, um, one of the... Uh, attendants, James's leg was caught up in the cart, so she took that out. James actually flopped out of the cart and came to, so that was a big relief. I bet. And James, talk us through your injuries because this isn't the first time I believe you've had a head injury. No, I've, uh, it's about the third time. About uh, three months ago, I got um, whacked on top of the head and I got uh, 16 stitches there, uh, about, and that was I was knocked out. And uh, about uh, was, oh, a few years ago, back 10, 15 years ago, I had another crash and got knocked out too. So, to get to that stage, our body mightn't be able to take too many. What more. about what about mentally? I mean, do you plan on on driving again? Yeah, I'd be keen. I'd, I'm a great believer in you've got to get back into it straight away. And um, if I had a clearance, I'd drive this Friday. But I'm going to give it a week and uh, get back into it. Then um, something you love, and I've done it all my life. Um, but I'll know when the time's right. Um, look, there, there, there is obviously a strong brotherhood amongst the, the, the riders in a sport like this, but it does amaze me, Todd, when we've watched that vision, is that y your very first instinct there, having been thrown out yourself, was to turn to check on your, fellow, on your fellow driver. I mean, James, watching that yourself now, I mean, 
I mean, wh wh how do you sort of hold Todd in regard? I mean, you must just have utter respect for him. Oh, yeah, you know, just you know like I don't know, I might, I might probably mightn't even been here. You know, it's just, um, you know, you really appreciate it. You, you can't thank him enough. And, and Todd, for you, um, I mean, you've saved a life. Would you, would you do this again? Uh, obviously, I think um, a lot of people in the same sort of situation would obviously do the same thing. But um, yeah, I think as you, your adrenaline's pumping at that time, and you know, the first thing I thought about was to help James. So um, you know, and he ended up, he obviously didn't come to too much damage, but he could have. You just don't know what what could have happened. But um, you know, I just hope that someone would do the same thing if I was in the same situation. Well, it's an absolutely wonderful story and this week we've been talking about being connected with people and caring about each other and this is just an absolute prime example of that and it's lovely to have you both on the couch and able to be here. Had you guys actually, have you guys actually uh, uh, managed to catch up properly since this happened or was this morning the first time you've seen each other? Uh, I've talked to James a couple of times on the phone and then uh, picked him up on the way up this morning so it's the first time. Yeah. Was that pretty special when he, met, when he picked you up this morning? Yeah, yeah, and we talk about it, you know, on the way up and bits and pieces like that, you know. Yeah. I'd, I'd buy him the hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be the other way round. <laughs> yeah, You've I got did. plenty of time to get him back. Yeah, the bears will so be true. on you later, James. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming in. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you.